So, anyhow, um, we'll take you back up to the map. So up here, you obviously had a uh, water flow down in ancient lake times, and that's how all the sand got deposited here. Kind of think of it as like continental crust, or continental shelf, and then deep ocean. Ocean bottom. Okay. Th think of it like that, only small scale, scale glacial lake. So, going from the deposits, I'm going to uh, show you from <clears throat> that were eroded away and turned into pl plaster. The water came down and probably deposited a bunch of plaster at the bottom of this, down on the bedrock, uh, which you know could be uh, whew, could could be hundreds of feet down. I I don't have that kind of data available at the moment. And from there, everything else keeps filling in as the water keeps changing courses. And then you have an alkali flat and the right chemistry, which uh, changes as it uh, fills in with swamp and organic. Um, was there trees here at one time? Probably. And that was probably logged off and and then uh, an attempt to turn it back into pasture. So you've got lots of peat there. That's a fact, an organic uh, acidifying things. And that would basically act as a uh, <clears throat> combine to keep bringing, dissolving the uranium plaster, kind of like gold dust, only uranium, from way down and slowly leaching it up as the swamp area filled in. Um, and that's why it's concentrated right in this area to the tune of over a thousand parts per million in the few samples they did. <clears throat> Where the uh, artesian well came up. And of course that's not clean water, but that's like mineral water with all this shit it's dissolving on its course. Um, that's my speculation given the shall we say, ancient upriver uh, deposits and the size of them that are uh, also uh, staked. Well, they're not really staked because they're kind of a grey limbo area in BC mineral claims. Um, as opposed to uh, deep down faulting out of quartz veins and uh, geothermal veins bringing it all up. I think this is all um, load deposits. As the glaciers ground the crap out of natural uh, occurrences of uranium rich ores. Well, just like gold and plaster and gold dust, it gets deposited by wind and water erosion to the lowest point, which is there. And then <clears throat> chemical action dissolves it and brings it up. That, uh, does that help at all? Um, oil flower 54? Does that make any sense to you guys? We'll, we'll add some pictures here. Okay. Back to the Google Maps. <clears throat> 